Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of Shogun 2. Today it's another 2v2 on the map Lowlands on large funds. The special thing about Lowlands is this river that you can see. It kinda separates the map into two parts. The strategic points it brings to the battle is here on the right side there's a dojo. In this case it's the sword dojo, so important for everyone. It is on a slightly elevated ground, so it has a nice tr strategic position and it allows flanking maneuvers very, very easily, as you don't get slowed down through the river. You can just rush across the river, which for me is the easiest just to do here, as it takes the enemy quite some time to get there. If I would go across here, both of them could immediately attack me, and it's not much, but they could get a downhill charge, and that would just crush me. So, as dojos, we have one on our side here it is the archery dojo so not that great and they have the workshop so that's quite a nice advantage they have here and i'm going to be trying to contest that and my ally here is armored smiler i played with him uh well it's already quite uh, some time ago but he was a beginner back then and i just got to play with him to explain him a bit about this game and try to give him a bit of a helping hand to conquer the first territories to get an army that can actually even compete. So as you can see he has mostly Ashigarus and yeah, Yari Samurai here, level 2, level 1, ye Light Cavalry, ye Bow Ashigaru twice, Bow Ashigaru with one upgrade, Bow Ashigaru, Bow Ashigaru, Bow Ashigaru. So a very weak army but he has the mass. Yari Samurai, Yari Samurai, another two units. And then two more here with each of them having one upgrade. And then Yari Cavalry, Yari Cavalry, and one Yari Cavalry with one level up. Yep. So he has a really, really quantic army. While I have more the quality, we will see what the enemies have. Here my Cavalry, I have Fire Cavalry level 4, Yari Cavalry level 5. Yari Cavalry level 5 and Naginata Varyaman Cavalry level 4. This is my Naginata um, Varyaman build, so you can see here level 4. I think I have 4 of them. There's 1, 2, I don't know, Dutchies now. 3, and yep, 4 of these guys. Then I have 2 no Dutchies in the mix. Here level 4 and level 4. In the front, Yari Ashigaru without any upgrades. My general, who's obviously melee. And then we have here the Matchlock Samurai level 2. I gave them an upgrade in reload skill twice. So they have a higher reload skill. And now we get to the enemies. One of them is formed in a very defensive position here. Bulletproof Samurai level 6. Daikyu Samurai level 5. Uh, Naginata Bo uh, Bow Warrior Monks level 6. Bow Warrior Monks level 6. Yari Samurai level 6. Naginata Warrior Monks level 0, 0, 0, 0. General is skilled in melee and a tiny bit into the morale tree. Light Cavalry, Light Cavalry, Katana Cavalry level 6. Mounted Gunners level 6. A very annoying unit to play against. <coughs> but very fun to use against enemies. Then here, Bow Warrior Monks. Without any upgrades, Bow Warrior Monks. And then we have Katana Samurai level 2, level 2, level 1. Here is a hero unit then, these t uh, Tetsubo Variam Tetsubi Warrior Monk hero. Yeah, very very good. Sire Flame, Avatar's bodyguard. We have a mix between melee and ranged with this... Uh, yeah, he unlocked the range feature but kept the upgrades in melee. Here's another hero unit, it's Saigon Swordmasters, which are, uh, well, obviously very good in melee combat. Both Samurai level 3 and both Samurai level 2. Let's start the battle. I am, um, as I said already, I'm going to go across the river here. I need to prevent them from getting the workshop and getting into defensive positions here. And especially when I saw they have quite the big skirmish advantage to us at least disappointing to me. I knew that I need to silence the foe 
from Archie very quickly and they can do lots of damage to Max. Neither of them have really good armor. Yeah, but the enemy is doing anything, he's just standing. Now he starts to finally move. This enemy is going to come up and I told uh, Armored Smiler here, just move forward, try to either capture this dojo or at least contest it and prevent this enemy from capturing it. But don't engage, keep a defensive position. The plan is I clean up, uh, how is he called here? Mike Mikelatus. So basically I'm going to clean up Mikonatos and then we sandwich flame. That was the plan and here you can see he's using his Yara to capture the sword dojo. Happening slowly but going to, going to be contested as you can see here. Katana summarized. I'm capturing in the same time the sword the the, the workshop. My cavalry is hidden in these forests now and as you can see this enemy here is marching forward he wants to contest it I mean if we capture this dojo and over there the timer is going to tick down but he soon will start firing at Why my block somewhere I think I'm yeah I'm marching them forward now first roll he hits my Yari as she goes and I'm going to destroy a lot of them here even though these guys are as you can see already down to half strength and I'm still not in range so I'm just going to rush forward now I'm just going to try to get rid of all the guys kind of working there's a lot of these other artists in the center out here as you can see, each volley is taking out a huge chunk. And if this would have happened to my precious close combat, it would have been bad. He hardly has cast the music. Kinda good for me to give him the advantage in this, but also hard for me as he has most experience, and I can't really do much than with my cavalry here. So here you can see I'm uh, marching forward. I'm giving you an order. Now the attack orders. Shape for and with this one I'm trying to run right around and hit from the back. But in the case of the next I have been extremely clever before. He can't really do much. Yes, he's out of the But I have my two kills back, so he'll bring them minus one. And they are fun sides, so it's not too good. Here in the cavalry side, the enemy pulls his general. I thankfully take that fight. Didn't lose anyone killed or you over five. Yeah, nine on two. General nine. Seven. Now I just break two. So that is just fight as he pulls him. Yari Samurai. I managed to kill off his cavalry. And then I just used my cavalry to crush his arm. Has fallen. A cutting blow. I s exchanged seven by Yari cavalry. Warriors for the no four fire cavalry units. Here, I just use the Imayari cavalry to attack this general already down from the charge to ten men. As I was really nicely held the position and yeah, the defensive position. Taking the fire now, I come to the rescue or to the help. The only units to send is the bulletproof samurai being cleaned up. I send another unit of Yari cavalry with my fire lance. Fire cavalry is coming now. Didn't manage to kill the general unfortunately, but down to six men. And now Flame realizes he needs to pressure forward. So he is going to attack with whatever he has left. And I will just use the advantage of my cavalry as he has hardly any spear units. He is in Yari samurai. And that is it. That's all the anti cavalry he has. Yeah, but well, uh, he did capture this. Yeah, he captured the archery dojo, so that's good. And now you can see here, uh, I still have all my cavalry. Nearly full. Oh, that is one man down there. 
seven men down, six men down. So I have three nearly full strength units and nearly six dogmasters. Getting charged and already dropping four men before they could even fight. Five men. Their general is not speed up. Getting into the, bar, uh, the bow monks and that is it basically. So whenever you have a friend that just got Shogun and you already are further into the game, just try to really get them, but they play more defensively. As this can run out. Very, very nice. Obviously it was good for us as well that this claim guy seemed to be new as well and that he didn't just try to charge. But yes, I think we could have won. But yeah, so we stood back and let the allies get killed. And I did manage to win that quite nicely without losing too much. I'm mean, using my cannon power. We have the same self. I did manage to kill 11 of the cavalry units, but it was 11 against 20 heroes. I take that twice every time. We have friendly fire happening from these Ashigura, just that you can't expect anything else. Their accuracy is poor. And they were just trying to help. So that was this battle. In the end, the mistake of the enemy has already said it. My enemy didn't properly use his archers and he didn't target fire. He just let them shoot on whatever came in their range and he wasted all of his precious shots on my um, Yari Ashigaru. Yes, he got, he got partially the charge of uh, to my units then, but well, his units were inferior anyway, so he m should have played around his superior skirmish and count. Maybe kiting would have been a chance, uh, and also using his mounted gun against my cavalry, because if he would have had the cavalry advantage, he probably would ma have managed to kill me with hammer and anvil. But yeah, now we see here, yeah, my opponent, 300 or 400 kills, his ally 600 with his archers I guess most. Then I'm as well at 400 and we I got uh, nearly a thousand. We de I deployed more than our opponents. I'm as well I deployed the most obviously had all of the Ashigaru units. Let's just look at the unit statistics. <coughs> My Yari carry 170 kills is my MVP. Then no Dutch is 150 and Naginata Maria cavalry with 120. Let's look who is next. Michelatus. Yep. My enemy is best unit bow very among 62. But again, most of or all of these kills are my matchlock samurai and my Yari Ashigaru, so I'm happy with that. 52 on his warrior monks and bulletproof samurai 49. Armored Smiley here. Bow Ashigaru 46 with my Yari Samurai 44 and 40. That's not bad. And flame then Yari Samurai 120 kills, that's nice. Both Warrior Monk 70 is good and the Tsugu Warrior Monk Hero 70. If he would have attacked in one big rush with his Katana Samurai and his other hero units, I think he would have managed to break Armored Smiler quite easily, especially because he has the morale advantage. And the Ashigaru and Yari units do break quite quickly. So I hope you enjoyed this battle, if you did please leave a like and subscribe, if not give me a dislike and explain me in the comments why, as I will hope to improve next time, and I'll also see you next time.